This is Abby's first ever property deal. And this is Abby. Abby, how much profit are you making from this deal? 10 grand. 10,000 pounds. And in this video, we're gonna reveal how you can do exactly the same. So Abby, yeah. you're now a professional deal packager. I am. How has your journey been from where you used to be to where you are now? Yep, so I was a merchandiser for a long time. Yep. I came to Masopi back in October with my father-in-law and my partner. Yep. We signed up to your packaging deal for three days yep. and it's just gone fantastic there ever since. Fantastic. It's been amazing and obviously we signed up to the masterminds as well. Yes. Which I'm loving. Good. I'm glad yeah. you're enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. So talk us through how this deal came about. Yeah. So we sent direct mail out. Um, obviously, we're covering Lee. They rang us. We arranged a time and a viewing to come. Yeah. Come to view the property. Straight away, they were really open. They were motivated. They wanted to get rid of this property. It had already been on the market for well over six months with wow. little viewings. Yeah. So straight away, my brain was going crazy of a few things we could do with yep. them. We went back home, did all my numbers, rang them up, booked another viewing to come and see them. Yeah. We offered them a below market value which yep. they wouldn't accept due to their circumstances. Yeah. So we offered them an assisted sale to get of what it was originally valued at, to get it to a higher price yep. so they could get cash flow for Fantastic. what they needed. Okay, so explain to us, Abby, how you make any money out of that. So we've agreed 140,000 yep. for the property. Yeah. So once it's all been done up with the refurbs, it's going to go back on the market yep. with our favourite estate agents abode. They're based in Oral. Fantastic. Yeah. And then it's been valued at after everything's been done about one five five. So then okay. we will take that profit in between yep. and any additional. And we've agreed to cover the estate agent fees as well. Fantastic. To help them out. Fantastic. So you've created a real win-win situation here. Yeah. A family that was struggling financially, yeah. can't afford to do it up to get it sold. Yeah. And you've come in to do the refurb, yeah. but add the value yeah. and therefore you take the uplift in the profit, exactly. uh, in the, the uplift in the deal. Yeah, exactly. Fantastic. Exactly. Brilliant. I know. So to now it's going really well. Okay, Abby. So we're in this property. It yeah. obviously needs a refurb. It does. So how are you going to make this work so that you can make profit so our power team is family yeah we've got all the key people in there we've got a builder we've got plasters we've got painters fantastic coming in to do this um, only things we've done external is the kitchen which is from color pro and the carpet for the stairs landing and the bedrooms so they're our main costly ones everything else has been kept to a minimum again power team yeah to help us get profit maximum profit exactly fantastic okay so abby yeah this property needs some work yep. as we can see how much is it going to cost so a normal refurb like this costs between 10 and 15 thousand pounds which is do. still sounds quite cheap right it is really yeah um but because of the power team and the materials we're not including any labor in this it's costing just over two grand for us to do. And that's mainly materials, right? That's mainly materials, Fantastic. Yeah. And then you're all going to split the profit between exactly. you. Exactly. Because you're working as a team. Exactly. Fantastic. And that's exactly the way to do it. Yeah. Because people will be saying, you know, oh, you can't do refurbs for less than, you know, a kitchen on its own, 10 grand minimum. Yeah. But the reality is, if you know where to get the materials from and you've got a good power team to get good quality work yeah. done at good prices for labour, then actually you can make massive, massive profit. Exactly, and that is that is the key. At the end of the day, we're all splitting profit. We're doing this as minimum cost as possible, so it's a win-win. Fantastic. Yeah, and for our first deal, the key thing for us was keeping costs absolutely down, so that's why it was the perfect first deal to go for. Brilliant. When you said you made the offer on this deal, because yeah. it's an incredible deal, it is. 
you said that you offered a below market value offer, which they didn't want to go for, yeah. and you also offered an assisted sale. Yes. So tell us about how you look at a deal because there's all these different creative ways that you can do a deal. There is. I think it's understanding what that seller needs. I think it's building up a relationship with them, understanding what it is they want from their property. Can they afford a below market offer? Can they we do an assisted sale. There's loads of different ways just get to know the sellers and understand why they're motivated and why they want to sell that property. Fantastic. And those skills worked. You've learnt those skills, haven't you? I have from you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you. <laughs> so you've learnt those skills. Yeah. And what I would say is um, you've got all the different tools in your toolbox now. So when yeah. you look at a deal like this, yeah. it's not just one thing you can offer. Yeah. You can offer below market value and you can offer another solution. So That's, it's offering more than one solution, it's isn't not it? It's giving them a choice of a couple of options, what is going to work best for them yeah. as well, what it is they need, because what they need, you will have the answer to. Yes. And it's all there. Yeah, and that's the key, isn't it? Because it means yeah. that you can get more deals exactly. rather than just offering below market value on everything. Exactly, because currently around this area, below market value isn't really option so it's how we can be more creative exactly to get deals through to help us and to help the seller as well fantastic and that's your skills as a deal exactly. packager right yeah Love it. <laughs> fantastic this is your first deal yes tell us about the journey the highs the lows what action you took to get to this point oh god so we started off obviously i was in my regular my regular job. job. Um, like I said, I loved my job. I went to uni for my job, but it was just time to do something different. The hours, everything was just too much. Yeah. So I quit. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, is what I tell you not to do, but you did that, right? I because did. Because you were confident you could make a success out of deal and packaging. It worked. You yes. did it, and it worked. <laughs> well, it's all you, babe. It's all you. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there has been a lot of massive highs obviously this property where we was six weeks ago and um, we're getting leads through obviously marketing's doing well social that is slowly getting, building up building there obviously we've got the support with you yes as well so anything we need you're there yeah fantastic um lows i think it's that worry of not getting your deals in not doing things right but you learn from your mistakes yeah um, we've obviously agreed some things it's fallen through for whatever reason but it's just about learning what can you do better next time yeah i think two weeks in we got a lead from yeah. the direct mail similar situation we offered assisted sale two people didn't want to agree so it was a bit oh a bit of a setback but then further two weeks later we learned from it and we got this so abby how hard was it to get your first deal it's not hard it's just getting to know your seller yeah it's just about building up reports you're going to come across challenges you're going to come across where you're going to lose deals win deals but it's just all about how you can adapt every time you lose a deal yeah it, any job you have your highs and lows there's yeah. nothing different about this yeah you've got a network of people use it so you're saying that network is the key point yes Marketing is a key point because without marketing you don't have a business. Yeah, direct mail. And being consistent. I can't stress our direct mail. We send approximately 50 out a week. Yeah. And it, it's working. Fantastic. It's working. I've got a list of numbers in my book at the minute that I need to ring back. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Fantastic. Yeah. So, a couple of phone calls, a yeah. couple of grand minimum each time. Exactly. Yeah. So, what is the profit that you intend to make from this deal? About 10 grand. 10 grand yeah fantastic Just so your first that. deal yeah. within four weeks of doing the training yeah 10 grand profit exactly it works so how hard was it to find my first deal i found my first deal within eight weeks and was then paid within 12 so abby you did better than me you beat me <laughs> um and to be fair so i started seven years ago now and back then fees were very different so i the fee for my deal was five grand but i had to split that with someone else so I think the key is that I created systems. I went through some hardships when I first started. And now those people that follow in my footsteps piggyback off what I've done. So they get there a lot quicker than I did. And Abby is a perfect example of that. Yeah. So Abby, what's next? 
So we aim to get all the walls stripped done by end of this weekend. Fantastic. Let it air for a couple of days, let everything settle. And then Scott's going to be coming in, sanding all the walls down, let it settle. The kitchen's getting done in two weeks because that's going to be a messy job. Once that's done, we can start painting, cleaning. We're going to get it on with a board and hopefully within the next four to six months be sold. And Fantastic. 10 grand in my bank. <laughs> Love it. 10 grand in the bank. Winner, yes. winner, chicken dinner. Okay. So, first deal within four weeks. Yeah. Paid within a couple of months. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get it sold quicker. Yeah. And then what's the next steps for you in your deal packaging business, Abby? So, we've got our key areas that we're going to target. Yes. Um, we have took a little bit of a step back to focus on this one at the minute. Yeah. But we're ploughing through. We've got plans. We've got a 12-month plan of where we want to be, yep. what we want to be earning, just what we want to do. We want to be known around here. Exactly. As, he as helping people as well. Yeah. Um, we want to help people sell property, get what they need as well as just deal packaging. Fantastic. So creating win-win situations and making massive, massive cash flow. Exactly. So yeah. now you've quit your job. Yeah. You've got your first deal in because you've yeah. taken consistent action. You've done everything. Yeah. You've followed the process. Yeah. And now you're making massive, massive cash flow. Yeah. You get to spend more time with the family, more freedom. Yeah. With the kids as well. That's it. Life's it's good. Ex life is good. Life good. Is good. We've got plans in place. I think for my job as well, I have that discipline. Yeah. As well. So it's we've got we've got a twelve month plan. This time next year we want our own office. Yeah. So it would leaving the work from home yes. type of thing. We want our own office. We want people to be doing our social media because Katie will know I hate social media. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we're setting doing month by month, but year by year as well. And I yeah. think if you have a plan in place, you'll do it. Yeah. So baby steps baby. for the bigger picture. Yeah. You've got yeah. to walk before you run. <laughs> Tell us the numbers on this deal. So we've agreed it at 140. Yeah. It's going to go on the market for 155. Refurb, just over two grand. Yeah. Profit, about 10 grand. Fantastic. Love it. Win -win. Well done, girl. <laughs> <laughs>